everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Shagoth. It's been less than 24 hours since I had a new mod update for Jurassic World Evolution and already I'm back with another one. This new mod has been made possible by Harlequin's Ego Water Witch who brought us the incredible Hecky Rhinosaurus mod just recently and already they have another great mod for us. The mod essentially makes your terrain editor function in a much smoother and more efficient way, much like Planet Zoo and other types of games that have much better terrain editors than Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, it gives you control over the size and the intensity of your brushes, so when you do things like um, the bushes, the foliage, or the uh, sand and uh, rock textures, uh, it gives you the ability to have a light application or a darker application, like more or less foliage in one specific spot, and it also allows you to cover a much bigger area at a time than the original tools. My favorite part of this mod is probably the fact that you can remove trees and flatten the environment at a much, much more efficient, faster, better rate than you could originally. I mean, this is going to make it. Um, you know, editing your sandbox parts, you know, whatever you'd like to start off with, whether it be flat or it be uh, treeless, you know, this will make that so much easier because just the expanded size is just, it's incredible and fast. And because you're able to refine the cursor down to a much more streamlined size, we're going to be able to make streams instead of only having, you know, three thicknesses to work with for uh, river sizes. And of course, because the mod is just generally easier to use and functions better, it's going to allow us to make mountain ranges with much greater ease. Obviously this example is an exaggeration, but I just wanted to show you how simple and how quick it uh, builds upon itself. You could never even probably dream of doing that originally, and now that was a piece of cake. It took like two seconds. So this mod is a little different. Uh, in its installation, or at least one way that can, it can be installed. There is a program in which you can run it in, um, and I really don't know anything about that. It has to do with coding, and that's not my area. So I will look into that in the future to see if it makes operation easier for the mod, but for the time being, we will download the optional files enhanced terrain tools standalone file, um, and that will allow you to load it into your Jurassic World Evolution files like you would with most other mods. The one unfortunate thing with that is that because it affects your main OVL file and the content zero, that means that most likely any mods like Danny Bob's environmental retexture mods will not be able to function simultaneously because they affect the same file. It's possible that the the other file, the one that can be used with a specific program, may allow you to get around that. But like I said, I don't know anything about that right now. But when I have more information, I will definitely, uh, you know, update you guys on that. As far as installation goes, you just find the file where you downloaded it to. And you just drop the main OVL file into your Content Zero folder. Just pull it over and replace it and you are good to go. After I got the desire to goof around out of my system, I collapsed this giant mountain, which went down about as quickly as it went up, so that's awesome. And I started exploring what exactly you can do with this mod, which turns out to be quite a bit and quite quickly. It's pretty clear right from the start that you can dig down far deeper than you've ever been able to before in this game. The biggest downside, however, to digging that deeply is that I was unable to get water to function down there. Like, I couldn't place it down in the bottom, only at higher terrain levels. But that's okay. I was having fun anyway. Thank you. 
After a few minutes of digging to the center of the earth, I decided to flatten everything out again and get quote unquote serious. I'm using air quotes. You can't see it, but I am. And I started digging around as if I would uh, when starting to build a park. And the tool, while kind of slow for this part, because it is digging through like the meat of the island, it still functions better than it would have normally. I often use water to clear out big spaces and flatten it at a lower level, and it's kind of a tedious process, but with this mod, it was much smoother and it it worked much, much better. You know, the way that I've always wanted it to work is now a reality. So I put my park building hat on and in about 10 minutes, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, I wasn't quite counting, but it definitely wasn't very long. I'd say right around 10 minutes, I turned this hole into this. A very lovely canyon, ravine, bowl, however you want to describe it, with a low floor and high, high walls made of mountainous, foliage covered hills and I have never made anything that I thought looked this cool in my life. <laughs> like I've, I've, I've gotten very familiar with the terrain tools and I can make them work and make them look nice, but I feel like this is the most awesome thing I've ever made, especially considering it literally took me 10 minutes to dig this out, texture it, build up the mountains on the sides, and it all just turned out beautifully. Then I put some dinosaurs in there, which obviously took longer than that, but you know, the, the making the actual terrain adjustments took like 10 minutes and it pretty much covers the entire park. Muerta East is obviously not the biggest park we've got but it is a decent size. I mean it's a pretty good medium sized park. Not too big, not too small and uh, look at the, the high ridge I was able to make in, in no time. All it took was me just adjusting it to my liking and then just moving back and forth over it until I got to the height I wanted. It was super easy. I mean, a child could do it. Like, a, a baby could do it. Now, in the interest of science and experimentation, um, I saved my game, closed the program, added Danny Bob's environmental overhaul mod, and reloaded the game. I did this for two reasons. One, to see if the two mods would work together, but two, to see if anything would happen upon reloading the game. I just wanted to make sure that there weren't going to be issues like there were with the um, expanded island map. And it's it loaded everything back up perfectly fine as far as I can tell. Now, as you can see, the environmental retexture mod is working, but uh, if you notice um, on the corner of the screen where the tools were, it was no longer giving me the option to refine and change the tools like the mod normally allows, and that's because um, this environmental rework mod basically covers up and replaces the files that the, the the terrain mod uses. So for the time being, you're gonna have to choose between the terrain mod or between like environmental mods that change the look of the thing. Um, the next best option you have is after you've edited your terrain, you could then reload the mod on top of it, but that could be a little tedious, especially if you make a lot of parts. Uh, so hopefully, you know, more information comes out about how to use that other program for those of us who know nothing about uh, coding and such, and perhaps that will allow us to use both the terrain editing mod and these environmental mods. Um, otherwise, we're, you know, we're just going to have to choose until other options come along. But as far as I'm concerned, like being able to do this kind of stuff with the editing tools is really cool and really worth, you know, having to make that choice. And I look forward to seeing what everyone comes up with in the future with this awesome new mod. So thank you very much, as always, for checking out my video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will definitely be back with more modded Jurassic World Evolution content real soon. Until then, have a good one.